Y'all, we're in New York. I'm having a good old time with my little sis. You know, we're gonna go explore, go to the Times Square, and like do some other things too. So I'm just excited in New York, man. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Alright, so we're about to go into the planetarium over here. We're in Central Park and you know, this is going to be great. We just got out of this sanitarium and it actually was really nice. I It was like really making me tired though, but it was a lot of fun. Now we're about to go to another show and then we're going to go to Times Square. So yeah, I'm really excited. We're about to go get some food at Tony's and then we're gonna go walk. We just got dessert. We're going to the restaurant and then we're gonna go to Brooklyn. To the Brooklyn Bridge, I think. Yeah. I'm on my way to the Brooklyn Bridge. I am really excited. Um, I've never, I don't think I've like, ever walked on it, so this should be really cool. It's like lit up right now. So this is my last day. I'm about to head to the airport now. Um, but I had a fun time hanging out in New York for a bit. This campus is so nice. Like Fordham's campus is so nice. Yeah, my time is up. It was a quick trip. It was fun. I had a lot of fun. And it's time to go home and go back to school. <laughs>
Okay, so I just got finished with LC, my auditional clinic. Yeah, it was actually like pretty interesting today. I need to say stop saying pretty interesting. I'm actually getting a lot better just like going to LC and like seeing patients. And that's a great aspect of my school that I get to see patients almost like immediately. <laughs> Starting from like the beginning of this year until like now, I've seen so many patients and I feel like I've grown in terms of like, just like gaining confidence and like interviewing patients and examining patients, which is like cool to see. I have a problem though, like every time I go to LC, I have to go to Trader Joe's because it's like five minutes away. Now I'm going to LC like every single week. So <laughs> every single week I take a trip to Trader Joe's, but I try not to spend that much, but I just got two bags worth of stuff. Um, so not, not, not too bad, but I do need to work on that. <laughs> But it's still gonna be a great game. Obviously, the, the true Cavs fan over here is butt hurt. Got it. He has the whole sweatshirt on. I mean, I don't support this team. I'm just rooting it for anybody but the Celtics. Yeah, you're supposed to. Do that. I want you guys. Now you started here, and then you're you now you're gonna be a Cavs supporter. today is tuesday i have 8 p.m which is advanced pro or no arts and practice medicine and then i have just a seminar so yeah happy tuesday okay i just got back from class we didn't have pbl today it was just like 8 p.m and then a seminar on different anemias and other like blood disorders now i'm just chilling in my food about to study and do some work i have to like Submit my summative portfolio, which I've been working on this entire year, different drafts, but like now this is like my final draft in order to hopefully move on to my next year, my second year. Every student has to submit a summative portfolio, basically showing your growth throughout the year and how you've successfully completed all these different competencies will make you eligible to move on. So that's what I need to work on and also just do some other work kind of shy right now but yeah we got out early well this is like not we didn't get out early this is like an early day for me because i finished at 12 and not five so it's good so i have a lot of time so i just gotta get some work done and hopefully i edit the lot like the previous youtube video hopefully i can finish that one editing today these are my goals Okay, happy Wednesday. Today I have a seminar on parasitology and then I have a PPL session. And then I'm done, so an early day today. I realize I have not given a review on how, you know what that was? Textbooks just falling onto the floor. Anyway, I'm making a review on how this hematology immunology and microbiology block has been i don't think either one of those three careers are for me this block i think was maybe the toughest of this whole m1 year for me it's just so much like material and just rote memorization that you have to do and for that reason was not the biggest fan of this block respect to all those people incredibly smart but i don't think that would be the specialty for me because it was just a lot of a lot of memorization i think the epidemiology is really interesting you know there's certain diseases that affect certain regions of the country or the world and you know variability and like treatment it, it's all like that part of it was really interesting but as far as like everything else it, it's really just pure memorization i think it's the only way you're gonna really like get down 
the facts, but med school is a lot about just like memorization. It was good though. I would say that it was a good block and the professors were, were really cool people. Anytime you're teaching three different subjects all in one block, it's gonna be pretty difficult to grasp all of them at once. I'll have to just do some, some work to, to get it all down packed, do some more Anki <laughs> to make sure I get it together because obviously it's on step one. So I'm gonna have to grind that out and just memorize it and get it stuck in my brain. I don't know if you've noticed in these clips, but the weather has gotten so much better here in Cleveland. <laughs> Even today, it's sunny, it's beautiful outside, um, and I have really appreciated the change in weather. It's getting warmer. It's still not as warm as Miami, but it's, it's, it's warm enough. It's like 70s, sometimes 80s on a, on a good day. But if you've been watching so far, thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next video.